All right, how's it going everyone? This is Brian and welcome back to the Tech Stack Playbook, your guide to apps, software, and tech, but in a fun way, I promise. So we're gonna be building an absolutely epic project. We're gonna be building a joke generator. It's gonna be using a joke generator API. And then we're also gonna compare that to one of the most popular, one of the smartest uh, LLMs available right now through Anthropic. So we're gonna be using Amazon Bedrock to use one of the foundational models that already comes with AWS. So we're gonna dive into full stack development, we're gonna be deploying cloud services, and we're gonna be working with AI. So it's gonna be a super awesome project. I'm really excited to have you a part of this. And with that, uh, let's get into the build. Now, one of the really awesome services that we're gonna be using in AWS is called Amazon Bedrock. And you can think of it like an API for a ton of different models. So when we wanna work with AI, we're gonna be, we wanna test you know, the latest models and also the model from yesterday might not be the model that's tomorrow's best. So for example, we get access to um, AI 21 labs, we get access to Amazon's models, Anthropic's models, uh, Cohere's models, Meta's models, Minstrel AI's models, Stability AI, and this list just keeps growing. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna search in the Amazon console once you're logged in, Amazon Bedrock. And then when you click on this, that's gonna go up to this page. When you wanna say get started, you'll be able to get an overview and it'll welcome you to this. You're gonna to wanna to go to manage model access and that's where you go to this page. And then when you see what is model access, so this will then tell you that you know you need the right IAM permissions and basically need admin access to run Amazon Bedrock. So we already have access to that. So we're gonna click on enable all models and then you'll be able to see a list of all of these models that we have access to or will have access to once we apply. So we'll click next. And then we're gonna put in our company details. So um, I'll just put in my details and then I'll skip to the next part. So after submitting the company information, we'll click submit and we'll wait a second. And something to note is that sometimes you'll get an error that might say that these models um, you know, where agreement already exists or the model's not available at the moment, please try again. Sometimes these models are deprecated and then you can't access them. Like they upgraded Llama 2 to Llama 3, but you know, this might say that, you know, it's not available, you know, right now, but you can just exit out of these. And then it might take several minutes for these models to show up. So I can see here that the, that was just granted. These were just granted. This is still in progress. These were just granted. Minstrel was added but some of these are still in progress and we can actually refresh. And you can see here that, you know, these are then being added, you know, ever so slowly or quickly for certain ones of them. But we're gonna just let this um, be running in the background and then see it's just loading here. Oh yeah, perfect. See, we're getting access to all these now. This is great. So now we have access to Anthropic. We're gonna be using uh, these models. So this is gonna be really great for us to test this out. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's refreshing. Yeah, we got access to, I think, almost everything. So that's great. So, and again, that was super fast. So uh, now we're gonna get back to our development and uh, get started building our app. So once we have our models set up and accessible in Amazon Bedrock, one of the really great parts that we can do is we have a playground. So we can actually test any of these models that we have access to now. So if we go to Anthropic, we can look at all of this. So this um, has context up to 200,000 characters, uh, tokens. This has just um, 100K. So let's try Sonnet or Haiku. We could try Sonnet. So now um, generate a joke that is punny and witty that would make somebody laugh. So why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in the field. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Um, let's try it. Let's do that again. Let's try to get another one. Why can't a bicycle stand up by itself? It's too tired. <laughs> That's another good one. Uh, let's try another one. Let's see. <laughs> what do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. Ah, very, very funny. Um, could you go for four? making it think a little bit.
yeah, if it keeps running like that, then sometimes you might want to try to refresh the page or something like that or reload it. Yeah, I failed to fetch. Let's try again. I had text to text field. Oh, okay. Maybe we gotta reload the page again. Yeah, let's try that. And okay, why can't I notice retold as long? Because then it would be a foot. <laughs> That's another good one too. So we can also mess with the temperature. So like one, we could try zero and try to see. I missed. Oh, that's funny. Try another one there. Why do you call it a fake noodle? An impasta. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, because we can get different levels of jokes depending on how much temperature we inject into it. Yeah, that was kind of the one that we got before. First of all, we got bigger. Then it hit me. <laughs> No, these are good. These are good. So this is like a really great way where you can just throw into chat playground different models and then test. So you can even compare like Claude three to Haiku, Sonnet to Haiku. We throw in the same prompt. And then this is much more descriptive now. So this is like a whole, a whole joke. Um, and we kind of just wanted like a, like a short one. Yeah, but this is like much more descriptive. So you can sort of see how based upon these models, there will be, you know, different use cases for them. So definitely haiku is more descriptive. So if you wanted a more, you know, um, like longer joke, you could definitely have this one. But if you wanted much faster, um, kind of like crisper, um, quick jokes, then probably Sonnet's going to be your jam. So yeah, just a great way to look at different um, models and what they can do. So I hope this was helpful for you to see how easy it is to start getting access to incredibly powerful and smart AI models through Amazon Bedrock. And you got to see how we set up the Amazon Bedrock model request form to then access all of these models. And then we were actually able to check out the playground to see how to work with these types of AI models. And in the subsequent videos of this series, we're gonna be going through how to use this, not inside of AWS console, but outside of that in an application. So stay tuned for the next series of videos. We're gonna be diving into all of these different components. But again, Amazon Bedrock is a really great way to get started building AI in the cloud and also shows you just the power of these LLMs and how funny or quick they can be um, or really long and really descriptive, um, you know, depending on which type of model you use and also the type of prompt that you ask of the model. So with that, hope you have a great rest of your day, afternoon, or evening, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video of this joke generator series. All right, take care, everybody. See you next time. Bye.